If you're having a lot of trouble remembering the names of judo, there's a few things you can do. First thing you can do is maybe just Google, uh, you know, judo gokyo and get that 40 kind of uh, the pictures of the 40 throws and just get some friends to go, what throws that? What throws this? What throws that? And just start kind of like, like a flashcard style thing. You can cut them up and you can get your friend to hold them up and you can kind of guess. The other thing you can do to help you is just to watch more videos and just note take of what throw means what. Uh, that will help you remember names a lot more. And lastly, the best way to remember names more is to know what they mean in English. O means big. Ko means small. Soto means outside. Uchi means inside. And this will help you kind of get a general idea of the throw mechanic. Okay? Now, it does get tricky. Yoko Gaki, side hook, it can be tricky at times. Or, you know, Mountain Storm, obviously, everyone uses that as an example. But you can kind of figure out, um, you know, Uchi Makakomi, inside wrapping. It's like, what the heck is that? So there's some throws where they're kind of out of the box that you remember what they are. But so, in order to help you remember names of throws, how do you learn? write things down, flashcards, look at pictures, look at videos, and understand the English names of the throws. You'll be able to help you uh, figure out the names of the throws and it'll help you pass more uh, gradings and that sort of stuff. So um, good luck with that. Talk soon.